guys, so today I'm doing some kind of looking for a video today. So basically, I kind of want to become a dad. So you might think that the title's clickbait, but it actually isn't. Like I've been genuinely thinking about becoming a dad now for the past few years or so. So I'm gonna go on the interwebs and check out a bunch of really dumb quizzes and determine if I'll be a great dad or not. So basically for the last two years now particularly, I've always been questioning myself like, would I be a good dad or you know, how would I actually be as a parent and things. It's always been my dream to have kids and have a family and things so I kind of want to kick start the whole thing today by determining how good of a dad I'll be. And so yeah, that's the video guys. <laughs> If you're excited for this video guys, look like if you enjoyed that video. And if you want to become a dad too, then stay behind this video because maybe this quiz will determine whether or not you'll be a good dad. So yeah, that's what we're doing now, so let's do this. Alright, so obviously I've moved the camera up a bit close to the computer now, so I literally just searched up dad quizzes and this one from Quiztron which says would I make a good father so there's like a bunch of these questions here I'm going to answer right now and hopefully it'll give me a result so okay so the first one says number one would you rather have a son or a daughter um I'm actually not bothered actually like I'll have whatever so if a son comes out then a son comes out but if a daughter comes out too then a daughter comes out so I'd have whatever. So obviously like I said I'm not really that bothered so I'm just gonna put it doesn't really matter. Next up it says here number two if your son was being bullied in school what would you do about it? So there's answers here such as if he hits you hit his ass back. If he says something to you knock him out. If he touches you you better knock him out and if not I'm going to knock you out myself. I would go see the teacher about the situation, handle it then and there. I feel, I feel like I would do that. I think I would go to the son's teacher and, you know, kind of let him kind of deal with it. But also, I feel like I would also teach the kid as well as, like, defend himself as well. So, if they're ever in a situation where they feel like they're going to get hurt and things, like, I'd always want the kids to, like, know how to defend themselves. So, I guess I'm on the balance of telling a teacher and also maybe defend themselves. There's also a rant as well saying my son would never be bullied because I taught about to fight like Ali, whoever Ali's name is. So like I said, I'd always want my kids to know how to defend themselves if they ever feel like they're in danger because obviously as they grow up and things like this world's really cruel and unfortunately there's people out there who'll want to hurt people and things so I always want my kids to know how to defend themselves and things for like if they walk down the streets or something like how to defend themselves and things because this world can be a really nasty place so but if we was in a school here and the kids were being bullied I think the only thing I can really pick here is I'll go see the teacher about the situation and handle it then and there so I'll pick that one. Number three, would you be able to handle change in a baby's diaper? There's answers here such as, um, uh, maybe. But since I'm the father, I will do what I have to do. I mean, to be honest, I feel like that's quite a sensible answer. Freak, no. That's always the mother's job. I think I would just like go, um, uh, maybe. But since I'm the father, I'll do what I have to do. Because you know what? If a kid has a dirty diaper or nappy, as we call it in the UK, then of course I'll change it. Because, you know, as a father, I have a duty to you know, look after the child just as the mother does, so I think I'll choose that actually. I'm not going to go through the other answers. I might make it up by this video. Number four, if your son caught a very bad temper and snapped on you, what would you do? Punch the mess out of him. Duh. Okay, that's like literally disgusting. No kid should ever have to be abused or physically punished. So there's answers here such as punch the mess out of him. Duh. Beat his ass. Calm him down, then figure out what's the problem, then spank him only once. Spanking means smacking the buttocks, by the way. Get him under control, then take something from him until he gets his act together. I think, I don't know, I would never choose his answer, I don't think. I think personally what I would do is I'd try to communicate with the child and like ask him what's wrong. And then like kind of like work together to calm him or her down and you know, try and do that. I feel like communication is also key as well. Okay, so this quiz goes on for ages, so I'm gonna try and find another quiz right now. 
Okay, so there's one here that says, are you a good dad? Pro proofs quiz. Okay, so I'm not sure you can see it or not, so I do apologise. This camera is so rubbish. I'll read out to you anyway. So it says here, what sort of hours do you spend with your kids? So there's answers here such as, enjoyable moments, lasting impressions, and have lots of fun. Time goes by, some fun moments, but nothing lasting. Not so quality time. Time. I think I'll choose enjoyable moments, lasting impression, and have lots of fun because I'd always want to have fun with my kids and things like the my kids. So I kind of want to make sure my kids are, you know, having fun and you know, I'd always want to be a good dad to them. So I choose that one, I guess. Do you respect your kids? Um, absolutely. Do your kids respect you? So I'd like them to respect me as a father and things. So um, maybe. He Fairly certain. How is your relationship with your kids? Great, never a dull moment, pretty good. Um, don't want to come home from work. Um, I guess I'll put, um, um, great, I guess. I'd always want to have a great relationship with my kids. Do you fight or argue with your kids? Well, obviously, along the years, I am going to get into like, you know, obviously tiffs with my kids like you know but kids are kids and sometimes you know it can be um what well, i'm trying to look for we can have tiffs like you know obviously like little arguments and things but i'd like to get on and things so i wouldn't want to fight with my kids but you know obviously a few little arguments here and there would you know be a sensible prediction because obviously you can't obviously all agree on the same thing so obviously a few arguments and temper tantrums will uh, be a sensible prediction so I'm going to put only occasionally. Okay, so I'm on the last question now, which was six questions. So I'm on a six one right now. On a scale of one to four, one being the best and four being the worst, how would you rate yourself as a dad? You know what, I'm just going to go with two because obviously I'm not going to be a perfect dad, but I just want to be a good dad and make sure the kids have the best in life and, you know, be proud of whoever my kids turn out to be and, you know, fully respect them and, you know, be supportive of who they want to be and all that. So, I'm obviously not going to be a perfect dad, obviously, I'm not Superman, but I want to be a good dad. Okay, I'm going to review my results. Okay, so I got cats too, I'm not sure what it is. It says here, your relationship with your kids is okay. Could be better, could be worse. Okay, I'm not gonna complain about that. It's like, that's kind of like a fairly good score, I guess. Okay, so that was very interesting. Obviously, those quizzes just aren't accurate, really. So, I just know myself, without being egotistic, that would be a great dad. Like, I'd always want to be supportive of whoever my kids want to be and, you know, respect that. And whatever my kids want to be, you know, whatever achievements my kids has, I'll fully be supportive. And like I said, I'm not Superman, I'm not going to be a perfect dad, but I just want to be a good dad. So yeah, that was a very interesting quiz. Alright y'all, so I hope you guys liked watching this video. I know it's a bit of a different um, way of video today, but I actually enjoyed filming that actually. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you actually guys, I don't know if you have this video. I kind of want to do a video where I basically take care of like a pretend baby for a day. So I think I might do that next. Like, I think I might actually make a video where I become like an actual dad for a day or something. So if you guys want that kind of video, then leave a comment down below. And so, yeah, hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye.